Hi everybody, Steve here at San Fernando Mission Cemetery in Mission Hills, California. And I'm here at the gravesite of Michelle Avila, or I'm not sure, maybe she pronounced it Avila. Her nickname was Missy. And you may have already heard about her tragic story. It was so horrendous, it made headline news back in 1985 when she was murdered by two of her closest girlfriends when she was only 17 years old. Apparently her girlfriends were jealous of her. They thought she was more attractive and that she was sleeping with both of their boyfriends. So they lured her up into the mountains here in, of Tahunga, which is not very far from this cemetery. And apparently they held her down and drowned her in a very shallow creek. The girls were both convicted of second degree murder and sent to prison, one of them for 15 years to life, and the other girl received 23 and a half years. It's the year 2021, and both of them are now out of prison. After being released from prison, one of the girls decided to write a book about the incident and capitalize on the murder and make some money. Fortunately, the family got involved. They sued her, so she couldn't make any money off of the murder. And as a result, there's now a law called Missy's Law, at least here in California, where if someone murders someone and then tries to make money telling their story in a book or a movie or you know some other medium they're required whoever's making the book or movie is required to contact the victim's family first but just the thought of trying to make money off of a murder that you committed after you've served very little time in jail at least in my opinion shows absolutely no remorse for what you've done the story of what these two girls did is just so unbelievable if it wasn't based on fact i don't think you'd believe the movie after watching the movie or reading the book, I don't think you would even believe that that would even be possible. The people could be so cruel and just so awful. But as we all know, they are. And for me, I just have a hard time with either no sentences or very, very short sen sentences. I mean, this is just my own opinion, but I believe if you take a life, then you should spend the rest of your life in jail or your life should be taken. To me, life is very important and very precious. To our justice system, it doesn't seem to be all that precious and it doesn't seem to be worth all that much, much of the time. So often, these sentences just make it seem as if life really isn't worth that much. It's, to me, I find that the saddest part. Maybe not the saddest part, but equally as sad as the, the crimes that have been committed. Now, I do understand that accidents happen and I think if you accidentally kill someone, then I think, yeah, that's a whole different story. You didn't intend to do it. It was an accident. Unfortunately, accidents, even very tragic accidents happen. And I don't think in cases like that, you should spend the rest of your life in jail or your life should be taken because of that. But when you intentionally take someone's life, I think you pretty much forfeit your own. At least that's my opinion. At the very least, I think you should be locked up forever with no chance of parole. But again, just my opinion. So, and I know every state is different and every county is different and every jury is different. So, you know, we all have our opinions about what a life is worth. I think it's worth a lot, but not everyone does. This week, I want to thank my latest PayPal supporters, Zachary Lazard and Dana Pretzer. Thank you both once again for your very generous donations to this channel. Your donations really do help make future trips like this possible. And I also want to give a very big shout out and thank you to all of you who have recently subscribed, left comments, and given my videos thumbs up. That means a lot and helps a lot too. So thank you all for joining me on this very sad visit to the cemetery today. And until next time, thanks for sharing the memories everybody.